Then you run around with people even though you're a born-again believer. You know you got God on your side. You got the blood working. You got the word in your mind transforming your life. And you hear somebody who don't know God telling you, well, you know, it's rough out here. And you respond, child, I know what you mean. Child, nothing. Uh -uh, I don't respond that way because I'm a different man. Because you're talking to my created man, not my made man. And my created man says I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Am I preaching to anybody in here today? Because Satan does not have access to your created man. He has access to your made man. Genesis chapter number 3 says, And dust shall he eat all the days of his life. You've been made from the dust of the earth. The enemy is after your dust, but he can't touch your creation. That's why you can be sick in your body and still have a praise in your mouth. I wish I had somebody here. You can be going through, you can be fired, you can be dismissed, you can be evicted, they can foreclose on your house, they can repossess your car, and you can be mad about it, you can be sad about it, but at the same time, you can lift your hands and open your mouth and give God praise because something better must be coming my way. How do you know God's got a hedge around me? Because you already tried to get to me without God's permission. Lay a hand on somebody and say, thank God for the hedge. Now, let me show you why you should be excited about the hedge. Because the hedge protected you from stuff you didn't even know was coming your way. Uh, you, don't, you missed it. The, the hedge protected you from some stuff you didn't even know was coming your way. God already had you hedged in, and it was coming for you, but it couldn't find you. It was coming for your marriage, but it couldn't get in there. It was coming for your health, but it couldn't get in there. It was coming for your children, but it couldn't get in there. Tell somebody, thank God for the hedge. Does anybody know what I'm talking about here? Sometimes your hedge can be so intimidating that people don't even want to try to mess with you because they got to go through too much hell to mess with you. Thank God for your hedge. Watch this now. Thank God for your thorn bush. Thank God for your cactus plants. He got all that stuff around you that they got to go through all that just to get to you. And sometimes your enemy doesn't want to go through that just to get to you. So I thank God for keeping me from danger seen and unseen. Rab right back and say, thank God for my head. Because he knew that the made man, Lord have mercy, was not as important as his created man. That's why you got to be careful by what you're attracted to because some of these made people are not the real deal. So you can look at something on the outside, it looks good because it's made. But step into its creation and you'll see it's not what it looks like. Would you look at your neighbor and say it's not what it looks like? Some stuff you're crying over because you look at how it's made. But God said face it, face it, face it. And when you face it, you'll step into its creation and you'll see it's not what it looks like. There are some people who can make a cake. I mean the chocolate looks wonderful and you get drawn by how it looks but then you cut it open and find out there's no vanilla flavoring there's no baking soda there's no eggs it looks good but it's been created wrong some of you've been attracted to people because they look good you look at how they're made oh they're made to look nice but get past their face get past her hips Get past his muscles and step into their creation and see what you're really dealing with. Look at somebody and say, it's a man.